This meeting of ECOWAS Defense Chiefs in Abuja, Nigeria's capital is the first since the last one in Abuja two years ago. ECOWAS Commissioner for Political Affairs Abdul Fatai Musa explains that the delay was occasioned by the recent coup in the Nigeria Republic, which required political solutions and that similar threats in Syria alone following the outcome of presidential election in the tiny West African country as informed the 42nd meeting in Abuja. Sequel to this development, the Equals Authority of Heads of State and Government at the 64th Ordinary Summit held in Abuja directed the Equals Commission to facilitate the deployment of an Equals Security Mission to Sierra Leone to help stabilize the country. Member states are expected to take stock of the last meeting and possibly deploy the ECOWAS military standby force to Syria alone, as well as review operations in the Gambia and Guinea-Bissau. This session also offers an opportunity to review ongoing security missions in the Gambia and in Guinea-Bissau, respectively. Again, the backdrop, backdrop of the need to continue activating, equipping and deploying the ECOWAS standby force. Nigeria has been at the forefront of ECOWAS peacekeeping missions and the country is willing to commit even more to future efforts to achieve peace in the sub-region. But officials say the funds for Syria alone and elsewhere in Gambia and Guinea-Bissau that is also on the agenda must come from every member state to show commitment. I also show you that once the finance experts and ministers of finance finalize the meeting, which will hold soon, the Ministry of Finance will send the Ministry of Security Council at the ministerial level under my leadership Nigeria says it recognizes the fragile nature of democracy in the region and the recent pullout of Niger, Mali and Burkina Faso from the ECOWAS bloc has heightened concerns about threats of terrorism, unconstitutional change of government, cyber and transnational organized crimes that have continued to undermine security in the Sahel region even with the threat of proxy wars. Recent challenges like the military coup d'etat in some countries in the region have had unintended consequences and have threatened our collective democratic values. This trend must be discarded as it negates our core responsibilities as military professionals. Let me therefore use this opportunity to emphasize that as democratic countries, we the military must uphold democratic values in line with our various constitutions. Accordingly, joint efforts towards countering terrorism, managing cross-border crimes, hybrid threats, as well as enhancing regional security are vital to safeguarding our nations and promoting sustainable development. On this occasion, the Nigerian parliament pledges total support and confidence in the ability of ECOWAS defense chiefs to secure the territorial integrity of the sub-region. We in the Nigerian parliament, the National I will remain committed to supporting the right to arm government in Nigeria to ensure that necessary and needed resources as will be required by ECOWAS as far as Nigeria is concerned are provided and approved. The ECOWAS security meeting hosted by Nigeria's Chief of Defense Staff holds till Friday when far-reaching decisions will be taken, especially on Syria alone, the Gambia, Guinea-Bissau, as well as conciliatory steps to take on Niger Republic, Mali, and Burkina Faso to bring them back to the fold. Omo Bazwai.